I think uh, one of the lessons of post-industrial society is uh, the concept of lifelong learning. Uh, learning cycles are much shorter than in former times. The technological advance is so fast that you always need to adapt. And I think that uh, is true for all levels of uh, education. You need to uh, strengthen and uh, educate people not only in the academic level, but also on the vocational training level. And I think here Germany especially has some lessons or some uh, examples to give because we have a, a century-old system of uh, vocational training which uh, uh, skills people constantly. Our vocational training system ensures that trades constantly keep up with innovations in society. That means every five years a curriculum, for example, in, for an electrician is revised. Uh, in, in a cooperation between government, unions, chambers of commerce, so that young people, when they enter the labor market, are readily employable. India has a great future. It has a big population. It is a democracy. It is English-speaking. It has advanced in the last 20 years a lot but there remain a lot of challenges and India has to uh, move up to the challenges. That means uh, providing the infrastructure that talent can grow in this challenge and especially in education. Uh, you have to also be competitive in education. That means you have to skill your people on all fields and that means also um, cooperate with foreign uh, countries and I think I see very good um, very good results in that uh, especially ISBR. ISBR has team ups with the German University with French American institutions and I, as a consul general I see this also growing when the German consulate opened in 2011 as fully fledged consulate we had about 242 um, university partnerships with Karnataka now, two and a half years later, it's about 70. So you see there's things moving. There's interest from the Indian side and there's also interest from the German side and that is a good thing. Since uh, ISBR students will now go out um, in mainly in the corporate world, become corporate leaders, I uh, want to urge them also to ensure that these principles of lifelong learning not only apply to them, but uh, to their companies, institutions as a whole.